Mr. Van der Mellen, welcome to our media box. Uh, your report on foreign fighters in Syria and Iraq adopted in the Parliamentary Assembly session. I would like to start with uh, foreign fighters and the country that they are coming from and the situation now, especially in Syria and Iraq. What would you like to say and clarify on that issue? Yeah, it's not the first time we see the phenomenon of foreign fighters. But the total numbers and the countries they are coming from, that is something new. In total there are about 30 to 35,000 foreign fighters in Syria and Iraq. Most of them are coming from West, the big West European countries, but in relation to the population it is Belgium who has the, the highest number. We see also that between five and seven thousand foreign fighters are coming from Russia. And in total, all Western countries, including Russia, I think we have about 30 percent of the, the n n total number of foreign fighters are coming from, from these countries. Which is also specific if we look at uh, these uh, people, we see that they are much younger than before. And what is really very special is that there is a growing number of young girls and young women, which makes that one of my uh, recommendations in my report is that we need a, a gender-specific approach for mm -hmm. the fact that a lot of young girls and young women are leaving for Iraq and Syria. Mm -hmm. And beside that, let's uh, talk about the major aim of the report, so the highlights of the report, and then I will ask the recommendations, your recommendations to the Parliamentary Assembly. Okay. So the main conclusions are that uh, it looks like most countries they take, let's say, the necessary legal action in their country, but what is lacking is a much bigger effort in order to prevent that these young people leave the country. And in my report, I ask the governments, I ask the national parliaments, and I also ask our Council of Ministers that the action plan, which has been agreed in uh, May uh, 2015, that it would be as soon as possible fully implemented and that we put much more attention on preventing the, the departure of these young people towards Iraq and Iraq, uh, because the prevention is always much better than the cure that you have to give afterwards. Uh, because we know that it's not the, uh, the decision that coming surprisingly, I think, to young people to decide to go and join this uh, uh, group. So, so uh, the role of the politicians and maybe politics of the countries are very important because it's a story that coming. Uh, what would you like to say that how the politicians and policies affects these young people? Well, I think that uh, the motivations, the what, we, what I call in the report the push and the pull factors which make these people travel, there's a wide range of reasons why the people leave. One could start by saying that we made terrible mistakes in our foreign policies in that area, which is exploited by some uh, groups and which young, young men are taking over. Some of them are scandalized, for instance, by the fact that the regime of Mr. Assad can attack civilians and they go there to fight against Mr. Assad. On the other hand, another reason why people are leaving is that some of them feel ill-treated and not accepted. Uh, then there are also personal reasons. Uh, a lot of these young people who are leaving, they, are not, they have not been living like really true Muslims. Some of them were uh, already in prison because they committed uh, petty criminal acts and so on. And for them it looks like a, a, a new way to start their life. They leave behind the situation here and they go o o over there. So if we want let's say, a good uh, policy of preventing people to leave, we need to act on all these levels. It means also that we have to put, to put much more attention on discriminations which are uh, really present in all our Western societies. In my own country, only a couple of weeks ago, there were tests of people who were presenting them for a house, who were 
trying to get hired to work, and you can see a, a difference if you give, let's say, a, a Belgian name or if you give an Arab, a Arab name and so on. So that's also something on which we have to work much harder than we did before which is very related to the radicalization issue. So thank you for joining us and for all your contribution, Mr. Van der Mellen. Thank you, thank you. very much.